we are going to solve the numerical problem related to the chapter force or somewhere it is given in the chapter motion also in previous days also i told you how to solve this numerical problem now before starting the numerical problem i want to tell you something more first you must have clear idea about equation of motion there are five equations you have to remember all these equations and there are five symbols in this five equation the meaning of the symbol we must remember and the unit of each of the physical quantity should be remembered then only we will be able to start um, this equation i mean to say solve numerical problems okay now let's start with the numerical problem till five we have done in previous class now uh, question number six a car moving with a constant velocity decelerates with one meter per second square decelerates means every second velocity is decreasing and decreasing it means acceleration this is acceleration is negative that's why question number six while solving this first information we got a is equal to minus one meter per second square okay this is deceleration and stop stopped in five seconds when brakes are applied if a moving body stops then final velocity becomes zero and within five seconds is it stops means time is given five seconds now what is the question uh, uh, calculate the initial velocity initial velocity is symbol is u i told you about this uh, symbols previously we have to remember this s u v a t the meaning of this okay now this question is converted into mathematical form then we don't have to see the question now we can go through mathematical form of this question now a v and t are given u is the question now we have five equations uh, out of these uh, five equations which we have to select to solve the problem uh, a v t u source the equation in which all these are there a v t u first equation we can use the first and second are same a v t u that's why any one of this can be used so using this uh, equation b equal to u plus a t the value of v is zero and we u is the question plus a is minus one and t is five or this is equal to zero is equal to u minus five therefore if minus 5 is taken to left hand side u is equal to what 5 meter per second the unit of initial velocity whether it is initial velocity or final velocity its unit is meter per second we are using si system of units that's why this is the answer this way we can solve numerical problem of the numerical problem this question number six now let's go through my target is to give you a clear idea about the selection of particular equation for particular numerical problem that's why let's start seven also what is the retardation of a moving uh, of a vehicle moving with a velocity this much retardation is the question we can see like this retardation means acceleration negative re uh, acceleration is retardation that's why a is equal to question mark where the retardation of the vehicle moving with velocity this 25 meter per second this means this initial velocity u is equal to 25 meter per second now other information if it comes to rest five seconds after applying the brake if brake is applied final velocity becomes zero v is equal to zero and uh, another information is also there there time is given five second t is equal to five second now what is the question what is the distance covered during that time first question was acceleration now second question is distance covered within that time okay the numerical problem is now converted to mathematical form now i'll go through this mathematical form of numerical problem a u v t where is it in this equation a u v t a u v t it is in first equation that's why using first equation we can calculate a very easily first equation what a equal to v minus u by t using this equation a can be calculated there are three information given fourth one is asked and uh, these four uh, symbols where are they in this equation we have to select that equation to solve the numerical problem now 
we have four informations a u v t after the calculation of a we have a also and if four informations are given fifth can be calculated by using any one of these equation but at least s should be present over there to calculate s so first two we cannot use there is no s third fourth and fifth contains s any one of these can be used to find out s we can use this one s equal to ut plus half a t square and using this we can calculate s okay a and s can be calculated now let's go to question number eight we are not calculating the uh, value of answer we are not calculating how much is the answer we are uh, actually making plan how to calculate okay a motorcycle moving at a rate of this much means if this is initial velocity moving at the rate of this much means initial velocity eight its initial velocity symbol is u how much 100 meter per second now second second part uh, covers a distance of 4 kilometer covers a distance of 4 kilometer 4 kilometer should be in meter because we are using SI system that's why 4 kilometer means 4000 meter now uh, 4 kilometer and comes to rest and then comes to rest means final velocity is 0 v equal to 0 now where the question number i retardation number uh, double i uh, distance what uh, the time takes to cover that distance sorry not distance the time takes to cover that distance retardation and time is asked that's why in first part retardation a is question mark and second part time t is question marked okay now we don't have to see this uh, same numerical problem in sentence we'll go through this mathematical expression okay u is given s is given v is given a is the question u s v a where is it among these five u s v a first and second doesn't contain s u s v a is missing u s v is missing u s v a this fifth equation contains u s v a that's why we can use this v square equal to u square plus 2 a s to calculate what a okay after the calculation of a now we have four informations u s b a and fifth can be calculated by using any one of these equation so this first one is uh, first one can be used to calculate t a equal to v minus u by t here is t we can calculate Okay, this way we can find out this A also and T also. Now let's go to another numerical problem. Now, number 9. A car of mass 1200 kilogram. Now I am writing mass. Mass is how much? Car of mass 1200 kg. Now other information. Straight road with a velocity of 30 meter per second. This is initial velocity. U is equal to 30 meter per second now other information uh, what force is required to bring the car to race in 20 second car is brought to rest it means final velocity is v v is 0 and time is 20 second final velocity v is 0 and time is also given it is how much 20 second now what is the question here now what force is required force is the question force f is equal to question mark now force is not in this equation of motion we have to calculate force by using this equation f is equal to ma this equation is obtained from newton's second law of motion now for this what we must have we must have m which is given a a is not given that's why first we have to calculate this a u v t a which equation contains UVTA? UVTA. First equation contains UV, uh, UVTA. That's why using this equation first, A equal to V minus U by T, we can calculate A. And after the calculation of A, we can use the second equation F is equal to MA. Here M is given. Here A is calculated. That's why F can be calculated. This way we can solve this numerical problem. 
getting answer is very easy work but uh, the plan is the must that's why we are planning how to uh, how to solve particular numerical problem by using particular equation okay let's go to question number 10 what will be the final velocity of a bus look at this first at first question is asked final velocity is how much final velocity of bus if it starts from race if it starts from this, it means it means initial velocity is zero. Having acceleration, acceleration is also given. Acceleration is 0 0.8 meter per second square. It's already given. And uh, until the distance of one kilometer, uh, until it covers distance one kilometer, distance is given. One kilometer, we have to use SI system. One kilometer means 1,000 meter. Now there's another question is how much time does it take to cover this much distance t is equal to what time is asked first v is asked and then t is asked now we have to go through these equations such an equation which contains u v a and s u v a s where is it u v a s fifth equation that's why using this equation v square equal to u square plus 2 a s we can calculate what v this v can be calculated now we have v u a s and v also if we have four quantities then fifth one can be calculated by using any equation t how to calculate this using first that's why secondly what we are doing a equal to v minus u by t using this we can calculate t this way we can solve this numerical problem number 10 now what i told you today which equation should be used to uh, solve the uh, particular numerical problem how can we find it by uh, by this method we can uh, find the particular equation uh, to solve particular numerical problem and we can get answer uh, for, but we must have clear idea about these five equations and the symbols is meaning and numerical problem okay i think uh, this class is beneficial to you and if you think that this is beneficial to you then subscribe my channel and like it and share it to your friends also okay this much for today